I'm CT. When I'm not busy being Arrow the podcaster, I live in the real world. I mean, everybody has to have a job, right? Mine is CS, customer service. You know, solutions, relationships, while keeping my team motivated and constantly connected to anyone who chooses to step into our location. Episode number 106, Christmas Treats, Is She Stealing? And Problems with Western Union. This is CTCS. Transition walk, day number one out of four. Whew, tough day in the studio today. Very tough day. Uh, Thursdays are always very difficult. The reason being is because I'm such a freeform artist as it is that Monday through Wednesday I pretty much go at my own pace and style. And on Thursday I've got a time limit. So when I have four big interviews and I've got to get production posted, and I, you know, just unless you live it, you 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 won't understand it. I don't know how I'm living it. I don't understand it. But I've got to go into see us and create solutions and have a peace of mind. So that's why we take this transition walk through this forest in South Charlotte. It's uh, reconnecting with the purpose and the plan. So this is how the day starts off. What is it? It's like October 5th. And right here on aisle number three, holiday fruit, the red cherries, the fruitcake ingredients. These things are going to sell like you wouldn't believe. And the thing is, is that when you have these, these displays, they're going to come in right before the holidays, looking for it when it's always been here since October. But it'll be gone, in, I, I guarantee, in less than three weeks. Speaking of things that are tis the season, it's the season to make sure that you get your shots. Being this close to a careless public, that means that, you know, RSV shot. So that means an RSV shot, your COVID update, as well as your flu shot. So got it, moving as fast as I can, which is kind of slow because the body is aching just a little bit. But, you know, that's what they say comes with it. Homecoming this weekend, and that means our floral department. They are back there handcrafting corsages and boutonnieres, 46 of them, and they have to pick them up by Friday at 5 o'clock, or they'll sell them to anybody. And so, but they're busy, and it's fun to watch them because it's handcrafted. We currently have a situation with Western Union. Our guest has uh, spent $1,400 uh, to make sure that the rent is in time today. Today. It's due right now. And Western Union has clogged up. Uh, it's frozen. we got to figure out what's going on here. And did the money go through? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to call Western Union and find out if we need to refund this or what, what is going on with their side. Here's an update on the Western Union. We've been on the phone with them now for about 25 minutes, and uh, it's a T4496. That's the situation, and they're saying that the guest has got to contact the person they're trying to send the money to and have them cancel it on their end, and, and it's like, uh, it's, it's not that easy because she's getting a little bit restless, and she feels that they're not going to cancel it on their end. We've got to figure it out here. Oh, God. We're 45 minutes into this with Western Union. The situation that we've got here is is that the numbers they're looking for are not matching the numbers that we have. And so, and there was, because it didn't really go through. So, what they're doing at Western Union is they're going into their, their financial department to find out if they got the money from this particular store. And at this point in time, it doesn't look like they did. But now the question is, how are we going to refund this girl and so that she's not late with her rent payment? So you're telling me that that woman, while I was on the phone trying to help her, she was cussing? Because I didn't hear yes. her cuss at all. She said, this is motherfucking ridiculous. Uh, I ain't got time for this shit. She, told, she kept looking at me and was like, can you just give me my refund? And I'm like, no, we have to figure out. Uh, I was like, you're not even in the system right now, so I'm not going to give you fifteen hundred dollars. Right, right. And then you reverse it back on your credit card and get. Well, see, that's what I thought at first. But that's what was taking place. That this is going to turn into a scam, like the last time. Every right. big tall yep, guy. Yep, yep. And then it turns out she didn't tell us to pay her rental assistance. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then she, and then she tried to say, well. And she pointed to you and was like, I told you that or whatever. And you were like, no, no, no. I've got to go by what's on the screen. <laughs> That's right. You can't tell me after the fact. Jeez. I, that was an hour and 15 minutes. I believe it. Wow. Ooh, shit's going. God. Oh. God. Transition walk. Day number two out of four. God damn it. I just got injured. I have, I have a wild dog. I mean wild. She jumps around so high, so fast. And trying to get her to come out here on this transition walk to put her vest on so that she doesn't come out here and kill everything that she can get in contact with. Well, I popped something in the lower part of my back. And now on this path in the forest, oh God, every step is that of pain. And I've got eight hours of CS in front of me. Mm. So you think they're going to steal it? Yeah, dude. Whenever they hide the beer underneath with shit like that, that's exactly what they're doing. Ten cases? Yes. That's all, oh my God. We have no idea what was going on. 
Did she look like she was about to have at it? She was about it. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. You were, she was 100% convinced us that she was stealing something. She made it sound like she told me that she yeah. that it was hers. Yeah. She never told me anything. And then she stopped. Yeah. yeah. You should have asked her, what, what were you going to say? She is, She was going to steal that. Wow. Wow. Should I go check it out at number six? Yeah. Okay. And let's see okay. what she said. Okay. All right, so I went over to register number six and uh, expecting for her to say something to me because I did take her basket, which we thought was stolen oh, merchandise. Yeah, first, that was a shopping cart full. It had all kinds of shit on top of the beer, which yeah. looks like someone abandoned in a cart. They were yeah. going to steal it and something spooked them away. So when you pulled her over to six, did she say anything about it? Because she tried to act like she was going to say, well, I told you. I was yeah, yeah. She didn't tell me anything. But she stopped her. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. She didn't say anything when you she, got over there. No. In fact, uh, you know, she was very grateful that we opened up to, and then she said, I wanted, wanted her to make feel like we did something special for her. And I go, so what, what are we, are we having a big party? She says, yeah, for a six year old. With all that beer? Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Man, those kids are going to be getting hammered. <laughs> yeah. She she goes, the kids are going to love the candy and the adults are going to get drunk. Yeah, that's clearly. Exactly what she said. Well, that's fine, but <laughs> I swear she tried to pawn off why we grabbed that cart. Right. She was going to say, she told you. She didn't tell me. And then she stopped herself. Yeah. So yeah. I was just curious. Yeah. <laughs> the case of the missing vacuum cleaner. Yeah, the manager from 305 over on a whole completely different side of town came into our store a couple days ago and took our vacuum cleaner to his store, and it's still not here. So now we have to drive over to his store to retrieve our vacuum cleaner. My, my worst fear is, did they take care of our vacuum cleaner? Because if they broke that damn thing down, we're back to sweeping the floors again like we did last night. Heads up, buddy. Uh, I just got a phone call from a woman who said that she did not get her cigarettes. She has a receipt, but she did not get her cigarettes. Were they Marlboro Blacks? Oh, so she didn't get them then. I found the pack of sitting over here on the register. Is that what they were? Uh, she didn't say, but but, but it's okay. So. Yeah, so they were... I came up here to do so. You know, it's been crazy today. Yeah. And I went up to the register to do something, and they were just sitting on top of the scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it was the Marlboro Blacks. Okay, okay. So she has to say that. And when, when she comes yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. If she says that, we'll give it to her. If she says something random, I'm going to okay. be like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> About an hour and 15 minutes into the day, um, re-injured, uh, the same injury that I had this morning. And uh, so with all the training that I've had in martial arts and, and with all the physical therapy that I've had, and, you know, you just, you just kind of revert back to what the doctor said to you for those several months that you were in physical therapy and, and hope that, oh God, this stuff, you know, there's got to be some relief somewhere. And it's, it's the kind of pain where it is so freaking hard to breathe, but you just got to keep moving and make sure that you bend at the knees and I'm sure that's exactly what I did not do. All right, so this guy just came in, right? And he goes, can I can I return wine here? And I go, Is it, has it been open? And he goes, no. And I go, do you have a receipt? And he goes, no. And I go, did you use a VIC card to buy it with? And he goes, no. no. And I go, how many are you trying to return? I shit you not, Jeff. He says 100 bottles. What? He has 100 bottles in his car. He parked in the fire lane. I don't know where he got it from. And he goes... He left, and he came back, and he goes, well, can I just do, like, two bottles? And I was like, no. He has a 100 bottles of wine that I don't know where the hell he got them from. Broke into a warehouse. Dude. Somewhere. Yeah, like, that was, I was like, what? Like, wow. Yeah, so like, he pulled off, but, I mean, wow. it was like a 100 bottles? That would be, like, what, thousands of dollars? That's that double kind of wine he has. God. I mean, that's, I mean, most wine bottles, I mean, I, I, and I'm as far as the wine's like 10, 11 bucks a bottle. That's $1,000 right there. Damn. <laughs> yeah, well, I did my job. <laughs> what you been up to, man? Uh, man, she's got me working. Good. Man, I, I, I saw uh, Cindy's mom. Yeah? What's today? Okay. Sometime this week. I don't know where right. it is. Or Friday. All right. I just got, I just came from Holy Trinity. DJing? Yeah. Good, good, good. So it's a hard age group. Yeah. All they want to do is, they just want to shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I let them do it, and it's like, that's not a song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the big one right now? Dua Lipa? Or... Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. But, but they think it's uh, uh, Nicki Minaj, which I, I can't play. Oh, you can't play. That's too dirty of a song. Or even in one line, it's, I'm a 10, put it in the 10. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Not that I know the lyrics, but I have to. Yeah, yeah. It's very, yeah. it's very difficult to be the DJ these days. Then you know, you know what song I got in trouble for? What's that? Victoria's Secret. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and and one of the lines it says something about 
Beauty, your booty, big boob. Yeah, 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 yeah. She says that. Yeah, yeah. Can't have yeah, We we, we stopped playing that song at schools. You got it. Yeah, you can't yeah, have yeah. that. No, no. What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember getting in trouble for all of that girls. Oh yeah, yeah. Because, because it, of the it's about word. girl girl fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's been yeah. yeah you can't. I've, you know what? I just heard that song the other day. You can't play that song really because it's. Not a good message. Right, right, right. <laughs> are, are, are any of them a good message? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God the Powerball lottery is at $1.4 billion because we've got lines all the way through the store to get these lottery tickets. So that means uh, staying up here in customer service and not uh, you know lifting heavy water or doing twisting and stuff at the register. So I'm very grateful of this thing. Wow, I don't know why it took so long to do one of these. I mean, day number two, and I finally get to ask the question, what would you do? Here's the scenario. A guest comes up to customer service and says, I don't know who you got back there in the meat department, but what a jerk. He's back there just rolling his eyes at me. And he says, I swear to God, he's cussing underneath his breath. And, and he says, I, all I wanted was some salmon. What would you do? Well, here's what we did. We gifted the man with the salmon. He had to pay for everything else, but we gave him an opportunity to feel good about the moment, that he wasn't going to walk away from here and never come back here again. So the question is, is that what would you do? Would you have done the same thing? Transition walk, day number three out of four. A transition walk is giving yourself permission to take a walk. It doesn't have to be in a forest in South Charlotte like I do each and every day. It could be in a city park. It could be in your downtown area. It's just a place to go and listen to your transitions. Don't deny it. We all go through it. Day by day, hour by hour, we're constantly going through transitions. And so the only reason why I share this with you is because we're all working very hard at what we do. We're getting paid crap money, but yet we keep showing up at a job. Here's the thing. If there's one lesson that we can share today, it would be this. Stop calling it a job. You make a choice every day. The choice is you go there and you give your gift to others. It's a choice, not a job. Dealing with a professional thief today, the thief is, uh, they play a really good game at what they do, and that is, is that they will, they will roam the store and look for items that are not priced properly. And then they'll bring that item up to the front and want it for free because it was priced wrong. I totally get it. I mean, it's like having a spy at your store to look for the things that are priced wrong, but, but they've turned it into a profession now where they want a lot of free stuff, and if they don't get it, then they call corporate. And then we all get in trouble on this side. Right. Gentleman comes into the store. He throws down five $100 bills. And I'm going, okay, you want a money order? Are you doing a Western Union? No, I want $500 worth of Powerball tickets. I looked at him and I'm going, did I just hear what I think I just heard? You know, because it is $1.4 billion, the winner tonight. And I said, is this for a group? He says, no, it's me. It's me. This is all about me. And no, I'm not going to share it. I'm going, oh, I didn't ask, but thanks, though. Thanks for the information. Gave him his, his tickets. He took off. He had a smile on his face. It only takes one ticket, man. Just one ticket. I think you and I are going to get to work as a team in a really bizarre way to it. Oh, what do you think? Okay, well, it's not thinking. It's what we're going to be pressured into doing. Uh, uh, our guy, Dean, the new guy, yeah. he just called him. He quit, and so what's happened is, is that we will have no bag. And I know that you've always said, I'll only go out and do uh, yeah. cards. So maybe we can two man all tonight. Absolutely. Okay, you got it? That, per that works perfectly because you're not there. Everybody's yeah. dissipated that works. Yeah. Okay, all right. My first big spill of the day, caramel, the kind of caramel you put on your ice cream, big old jar of it. Trying to clean this up, oh my God. Uh, at least it smells good. Caramel always smells good, but that stuff is sticking to the floor and there's glass all over the place. That was a strange experience with this lottery because people, when they come up and they want to get their lottery tickets, they, they order their tickets like they do a latte at Starbucks. And uh, so earlier today, the gentleman comes in and he goes, okay, I want a Powerball. And by the time you, you hit Powerball, because we're under so much stress as it is, there's so many people that want it, that you hit the button and he goes, no, I changed my mind to Power Play. Well, now we have a $20 ticket laying there. Okay, what are we going to do with it? Do we buy the $20 ticket? What's going to happen? So you wait for the next person to come up to say they want a $20 ticket. Well, it finally happened. It only took three hours to do it. And so the person comes up, and uh, so I have the $20 ticket. They said, well, I'd like to have 30 So I'm going, okay, this is great. We're going to get rid of this $20 lottery ticket because it is $1.4 billion. 
And so she comes up. She's going to pay with an ATM card, and the ATM card doesn't work. And so I'm sitting there going, shit, we're, we're going to be $30 down on these damn tickets. And then finally, so she stood on the phone for like 30, 30 40 minutes trying to make sure that, she, that her card is working right. The bank works on it, gets it. She takes home the tickets. We are at zero when it comes to the lottery tickets. Two huge baskets full of groceries for an 18th birthday party. Yep. And maybe a quarter of it just went back because they elected at the last minute not to have it. That second round was all that they wanted. Was that that was the end. But it was all drinks. I mean, it was all, you know, All that was left was drinks. I tried to make sure I got um, you know, all of the food out. Yeah, yeah. But after a while, she was like, okay, can you, you know, focus on the drinks? I was like, I'll get it. It's for an 18th party. You're, you're going to be drinking more than you did. But still, like, there were steaks in there. Right, right, right. The steaks and everything. So when they, when they let, and when, when Ryan t- started taking things back, I thought, well, he's just, he's just going to help him out to the car. Yeah, no. No, no. They just did not want it anymore. But at first, the first transaction, because we split it into two, yeah. she wanted me to stop at 400 and then the second go around, we just end up stopping it like almost a day. Wow. So I guess she was just falling on budget. But wow. Whatever they got, they. Wow. Didn't that make your stomach turn when all of a sudden they look at you? They say, okay, I don't want any more. Just send us about $100 for the food. Yeah. Oh, it just makes me sick. Like, I have a more of a problem with them declining to, like, filling up the cart and just deciding that they don't want it. Yeah. Opposed to having to ring up two chocolate in the cart. Yeah, that was huge. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind because we got a long shift ahead of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Transition walk, day number four out of four. My body ain't talking to me. It's screaming at me. Wow. Whew. Man, I'll tell you what. People's moods and attitudes, somehow, some way, they've got to be readjusted. Probably the three biggest, most popular aisles at a grocery store, you get the meat department. Uh, the produce department is always very crowded. And the frozen section. And uh, praying for my coworker, man, because people are constantly bumping into you, g- reaching over you, grabbing things around you. And eventually, uh, the, the guest tells you to get the hell out of the way. You can't respond. But he did. And he was pulled into a meeting. Man, something needs to be readjusted. If my father were here, he'd handle it with the belt. And now the pet peeve of the week. Things that people do or say that just get underneath your skin. People that come in, they want a a refund, a total 100% refund of the money on products that they say that, man, when I got home, my wife bought the same exact thing. I've been married for over 40 years. We've never bought the same thing. How is this possible? We just got word that one of our electronic carts is on the loose. It's up on Woodlawn now, about a mile and a half, two miles away, and it's being ridden by two teenagers at this time. We've called the police. The latest word on the missing electronic card is it's now up to South Boulevard, which is pretty close to about three miles away now. And uh, even though the police have been called, uh, nothing has been stopped yet as they continue to move closer and closer toward I-85. While you're away, a major theft took place. What was it? Uh, two people have swiped the electronic card and last seen near South Boulevard. It's like every day, ain't it? I feel like it's every day. I say we got to stop using it. Uh, well, I mean, we're going to get yelled at either way. If we don't have them, they're going to be mad we don't. If we do have them, someone's going to be using them. They're going to be mad we don't have enough. Um, I'm kind of relieved it's gone too, but at the same time, um, it's going to come out of the source mm-hmm. uh, money, and so it's going to affect our bonus. I've been in the Charlotte radio market since 1985. I've had my fair share of shaking hands and kissing babies and getting to meet some of the most incredible people on the planet because people here in Charlotte really are great people. And so today, you know, I'm CT. I got, I got my, my shirt on, my team jersey on with my name tag, and a woman walks up to me, Arrow! Arrow! Oh, my God! And she goes, you, you remember Andy, right? I'm his wife. And I'm, I look at her, and I'm thinking, I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> don't and then she says you gotta come outside and he's in a really bad mood and 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 you you just go make his day so we go outside looking for him can't find andy she says oh he must be over at the post office so we go over to the post office can't find andy we come walking back into the store because andy called her and said i'm in the produce department we we get in the produce department i walk up to this guy and uh, she goes andy this is arrow remember we did the movies he's at the radio station and he goes i don't know who the hell you are 